Hello everyone, Reverend Sarah Grady from St. Paul's United Church in Paris. I hope you're doing really great today. I hope that you're uh, digging yourself out from wherever you may be. We have just finally dug ourselves out of our subdivision here. It's been pretty crazy the weather the last 24 hours, but it's always fun to have a snow day. I want to start today with an introduction. Actually, that's my whole reflection for today, or this whole check-in for today, is an introduction to the next six weeks and what we are going to be doing as the United Ministers group who are doing our guest preaching series. So I think I've already introduced a couple of times this book, and she said monologues on biblical women. And Betty Radford Turcott, the author, is really awesome. She's local Canadian author, so I think that's really great to, uh, to have that as part of what we're doing. And really what we want to dig into with this sermon series is voices that are not heard or not known. And so um, I'm going to read you the introduction and some of the reasoning why um, Betty chose these six women and uh, even why she chose their names because they're uh, for the most part the women in the bible are unnamed and known only by what happens to them so i want to give you that introduction so she says these six women were part of the ministry of jesus in different ways we have salome who is named as a follower of jesus and mother of james and john and Peter's mother-in-law, who had very, who had family who were disciples of Jesus and were very close to him. And so uh, Tibby is the mother-in-law of Peter. That's our name. And then we have Jesus's sisters who are mentioned in Matthew's Gospels, but there is no information about them. And so she names Jesus's sister Bina, which means wisdom, because as Betty says, as I feel my way into her life, wisdom seems a good choice for a name for her. And then we have Mary of Bethany, who was the woman who anointed Jesus, and most people know Mary of Bethany. And then she names the two Marnie and Veronica, and we're going to be starting with Marnie. And they're known by the illnesses that brought them to Jesus. So they are not named in the Bible, but she is named Marnie, who is the bent over woman, and Veronica, who is the bleeding woman. And she says, I've often wondered and wished that somewhere original writings by these women who were part of this story of Jesus will be found. I know that will probably never happen as most women could neither write nor read at this time. And in fact, many men did not have those skills at this time in history either, but I still wonder. And so my imagination takes over and these women have come alive in my heart and mind as spirit sisters. I hope they might speak to you as you hear or read their stories. So we are going to follow a bit of a formula over the next few weeks. Each of these women are attached to a scripture reading. So there's going to be a scripture reading, a monologue, and then, of course, the reflection or sermon on who these women are and how they relate to uh, what's going on in the world today. And as we have been uh, working on this sermon series together over the last few weeks, we have found so many connections to relevant topics going on um, and conversations going on in our world. So our hope is that you find some fresh perspective, that you enjoy hearing a different voice. For those of you who watch our weekly services, uh, it's an opportunity for you to hear somebody else's preaching style. And uh, whatever uh, you get out of it, I hope to be also uh, encouraging some conversations. So our Tuesday check-ins are going to be uh, follow-ups to our sermon series because there's questions at the end of each of these chapters. So I, um, I just really hope that you find something that speaks to you, whatever uh, gender expression you uh, find yourself uh, identifying with. This is a series for everybody. Wherever you are this day, my friends, I hope that you're safe, I hope you're well, and of course, I always hope that I get to see you soon. I'll talk to you later.